Hello, Square Chapel lovers, theatre lovers, and uh, all lovers in between. Uh, it's Michael Sabaton here, just popping up on your video feed to tell you that I shall be returning to Square Chapel and the brand spanking new Copper Auditorium on the 31st of January 2019 with my brand spanking new one-man show, The Turk. And, um, well, it's an interesting one for me because it's inspired by uh, a true story of an 18th century thinking machine or um, a life-sized chess-playing automaton. It became known as the Turk because it was dressed in a sort of Turkish garb um, and became a great mystery for ooh, well over 80 years in its lifetime and continues to be so to this day. You may have heard of it yourself. And this is why I'm wearing these rather ridiculous her sweet air brakes on my face because the, uh, the play itself is set in 1838 and uh, concerns several different things. Uh, the first of which is uh, the Turk itself. This is the head of the Turk. There we are. There he is. And um, the rest of the pieces of the Turk are packed away in packing crates in the hold of the ship. Uh, so the Turk is, uh, is uh, sitting in the hold with his owner, whose name is Johann Nepomuk Meltzel. And the show uh, speaks through uh, Meltzel's last moments because um, unbeknownst to him, he's uh, dying of yellow fever. Uh, he's um, nearing the end of his life and he's sort of delirious with uh, this mixture of yellow fever and, and lots of alcohol. And he's coming to terms with the end of his life, uh, what he's done, his loves, his losses, his uh, exuberances, um, alongside his last remaining friend, the Mechanical Turk. And um, alongside his journey, we hear a bit more about the Turk itself, but more so than just its history, about its adventures of meeting famous people all around the world. But... Uh, and for me as a playwright, what I wanted to, to, to sort of tweak out was how the Turk has indeed inspired, uh, even to this day, our human relationship with machines. Here I am talking to you through a computer screen every day. We surround ourselves with computers. Uh, we're moving more and more into relationships with artificial intelligence. And the Turk uh, um, essentially influenced um, the whole idea of artificial intelligence, um, what it would be like to live with a machine. Um, also, what constitutes intelligence? What constitutes life? There's a real sort of Hamlet moment here as well. And so there's all of these things. There's the lives and losses of the showman. There's the influence of artificial intelligence. And there's the philosophy behind the ideas of how we can begin to unwrap that idea of what exactly is life but there's a lot of laughs in it too it's a it's a sort of darkly intense piece but there's some dark humor in it too um, there's also the same intense characterization and storytelling that you'd expect from a Sabatin show uh, those of you who have seen my work before but this one also has more music it has song as well and it also has one last thing it has robotics because Along this adventure, I've had to try and invent uh, a means of interacting with a robotic Turk. So I actually have two Turk heads. This is my robotic Turk without his uh, turban on and without his face. But I've got his face here. Where is he? Come on, you. Now this guy. Oh, gosh. There you are. That's his face. And it fits on there like that. And this is controlled throughout the second half of the show uh, through a lot of electronics um, and interacts with uh, Johann Meltzel who's of course delirious so what is real and what isn't real comes into the frame as well um, so there's a lot going on in this show uh, this has all been 3d printed as well and if you're interested in how the show has been put together you can go to my website www.michaelsabton.com follow the link to the YouTube channel and uh, there you'll see how everything was made. So I'd really like you to come and see it. It's uh, it's an odyssey 
in um, showmanship, in uh, artificial intelligence, in philosophy, and with a few laughs, uh, a few tears, and a bit of madness, and a few songs as well. So please come and see it. Support brand new original theatre. Oh, go on. Meet me afterwards and we'll have a chat. See you there on the 31st of January, Square Chapel for the Turk. Ha <laughs> ha! End. End there. Shall we end there? Yes, end there. Come on then. Back in your box. How do I stop this thing?